What's up, everyone? Thanks for coming back to Specialists of Nothing, where we talk about anything and everything. Tonight's topic is going to be on YouTube boxing. As always, boxing. Danny and Joe. What's up? Yo, yo. <laughs> Gotta um, give him the double yo. <laughs> double Danny has no nothing on this topic, just so everybody knows. He has YouTube boxing. Danny, Danny's on the back burner for this I one. Straight up. Exhausted You're taking my seat day? for one. Didn't even want me to call it YouTube boxing because he's like, what is that? <laughs> he's like, let's call this episode Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's tough. No, I was spitballing. No. Listen, I was spitballing. Uh, All right. So, so then that's the perfect question today. What is YouTube boxing? Tell me what this is. There's really, there's no really no Frankopedia for this. It's just well, I put together like a small. Explain to me what the fuck YouTube. Boxing I would say is. yeah, it's kind of like my own like small little thing, but it's basically boxing fights that aren't professionally good with talent, but you get to see YouTubers punch each other in the face. It's meant for entertainment. They yeah, but are technically on... they're they are trying to make this professional. Well, they are put on professionally. They have their own belt, like the YouTubers belt or whatever. It's like red and like whatever. Um, it was given to. I think KSI uh, from one of his boxing Who's, matches oh, from KSI. a retired what's boxer. A, what's a KSI? I will tell you in a second. But <laughs> so uh, <coughs> KSI though uh, got the belt when he won one fight from like some retired boxer that gave it to him. And that's where like the belt came into the YouTube boxing thing. But basically, yeah, it's just where like these guys that got famous on YouTube or Instagram are trying to box each other. other and they think they're professional people. boxers now. Well, not even, but they're trying to box other uh, influencers, other boxers that are maybe older or kind of retired or even willing to just fight them that are younger or celebrities or whatever. But it's gaining a lot of money. It's, yeah, it's, it's making about, millions and millions of dollars. So like it's kind of genius on their end. It's helping bringing boxing back, not in the <clears> same <throat> way that boxing was before. So a lot of people don't like it. And it's caused a lot of outrage and this and that and blah, 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 because because they're not, they're not professional. They're getting yeah, such big stage fights mm -hmm. and they're nobodies. They're exactly. YouTube stars, and which people that in YouTube world boxing. is a big deal. They're big deals. But. Boxing well, is like so, these people train since they're fucking five right. years old, man. Well, so that's Work why it's, hard, it's, gone so many amateur fights. And, and it's like these kids just walk in and get a professional fight under Mike Tyson's card. Yeah. Why? Because they got a freaking their YouTube sensations. Well, see, and that's what I'm saying. Like the boxers are looking at it like we're like, exactly. This kid's getting they're this pissed. Blah, blah, blah. Right. But the YouTubers are like so excited, blah, blah. blah. So it's, it's a way the to get their name out there. doing it. And, like and the Mike Tyson's, the Floyd Mayweather's are like, you know what? Why not, though? It's going to make a lot of money. It's going to help the sport because even though the hardcore fans of all time from back in the day that don't appreciate it now because it's not the same, aren't going to watch it. They're going to have new different fans that are younger kids. Different audience. Want to see these a different YouTube targeted fight. audience. So, yeah. So they're just changing the audience. But it's good for boxing because at the end of the day, boxing is making more times money. Change again. And you got to roll it's with the times. Exactly. Yeah, and that's so what you got to do. That's it. It, it. And that's what it is. So now you got all these people. So like... Yeah, but, you know, people are also getting mad because, you know, boxing's very just to the point. It's there's it's no cameras. It, no, but what I'm saying is these YouTubers, everybody, you know, a lot of these fights have been questioned, especially the Jake Paul and Ben Ashkin one. Was that fight set up? Yeah. Was it was it planned? Was it played? So, okay, because, I mean, so bro, at the end of the day, these are YouTube stars, man. Well, and, you know, they don't know. Boxing you is know, one of the biggest sports where things have gotten thrown for money and stuff like that, where someone has thrown a fight and like thing like that since back in the day. So that I could see. And it's funny because I've actually seen a bunch of TikTok videos. Like I saw this one dude in particular that was like pausing the fight from different angles of Ben Askren uh, getting knocked out when he got that knocked out with the knee from the, the guy with the braids in UFC before he fought the uh, Jake Paul. Is this MMA? So, yeah, so yeah. Paul, we're talking about Emmett. Ben, ben right, Askren so is an MMA so wait, fighter. We're, 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 yeah, we're getting way ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Ben Askren is like a professional him. MMA fighter. Yeah, okay. I think he's like not retired, but like he's just not he's getting active. to the end. Yeah, right. Jake Paul. And, so, well, Jake Paul is, is a YouTuber. He's right. He's a YouTuber. Okay, Instagram so he's the influence. Influence. Yes. So Ben Askren and Jake Paul just recently fought each other. Before that fight, uh, when Ben Askren committed to Jake Paul, he fought. I forgot the guy's name, but it was a it yeah, was I don't a UFC. Either. It was a UFC fight. The guy with the braids. I forget. He's popular. I just can't think of his name right now. Okay. Um, he came out. It was the beginning of the fight. It was the quickest UFC knockout ever in history. It was like four seconds, or whatever. Soon as they come charging towards each other, he gives him a knee, and it looks like he hits him in the head. 
but he didn't. He actually hit him like right here and like the shoulder and the collarbone. This guy that was on TikTok was like pausing the video and showing it from different angles. So then now the video came out where Jake Paul fights Ben Askren and exactly like it really wasn't that big. Dude, of a I hit. mean, come on. That it shot really, was yeah, uh, it didn't look you know, like that big of a this hit. This guy has taken beatings, bloody. Yeah. And some of the fights he's like one of the, the biggest them. fighters in MMA. And you're telling me that that fucking right hook from Jake Paul knocked him out like that. I'm and not that's out. what I'm saying. So, like, I don't know. Like, because, yeah, I've seen so is this a recent now. fight that happened. Like, yeah, yeah, it just happened a couple weeks ago. A couple okay. weeks ago, this fight happened. So it was is- first round. He knocked him out. The, the YouTuber knocked out the uh, MMA fighter. And but it was a boxing match. It wasn't an MMA match. They're, they're doing strictly boxing. Okay. So, um. What, and who yeah. did we fight? Jake Paul fought who? Ben Askren was his name. Okay. So yeah, Ben Askren was an MMA fighter, but he he stepped into the boxing ring to do this fight with Jake. Paul. Okay. Mm-hmm. Kind of like how Floyd Mayweather and uh, McGregor. McGregor. Yes. Okay. Same no, thing. not really though. Well, not so, really. They're but they're both professional fighters. But... <laughs> it's more like how Nate Robinson fought uh jake paul you know what i mean that that would okay. be more relative right and nate robinson McGregor, is actually a retired nba player yeah because kind of oh, okay. a professional yeah, yeah, fighter yeah, he's just an mma back. fighter fighting with everything right he was like i'm gonna just switch sports to fight mayweather whereas like these guys are not professional fighters they're just trying to get people that are professional fighters or other big names to come with them in a fight in a ring set up professionally to generate a lot of money right so that's so, what mayweather's doing yeah, so Mayweather is fighting now Logan Paul. Logan Paul. The older brother, right? So, so this is the okay. crazy part to me. They're fighting each other. And I get that Floyd is all about the money. They're going to make like $100 million and whatever. But like, dude, you could have chose other people. Like you could have chose his brother who's 3-0. and You're going to choose the guy that's 0-1 with a professional record against your 5-0 record. Mm-hmm. What if he actually does catch him with a right hand and knocks out Floyd Mayweather and Floyd fucks up his 50-0 record by some punk YouTube Yo, kid? word. How great would that be to see? How great? I'd fuck. Are you kidding me? I would probably, honestly, I'd freak the fuck out. If, I personally if, hate if, Floyd. If Logan I, Paul hits him with a shot and knocks him out. I oh personally, don't get me wrong. Floyd is the Tom Brady of his sport, the whatever you want to call him. He's the Floyd Mayweather. You know what I mean? Like he, he is. Don't get me wrong. He's the go to boxing. He is un- untouchable to hit. Um, in this I don't generation, think anymore, because there was a well, lot. Well, yeah, no, right. Even yeah, even again, for past generations and stuff, I get like there's different other fighters or power hitters this and that. But Floyd Mayweather is the only fifty and O person. He's the only yeah, person he, to have that. Got, nobody's got a record like undefeated. him. Man. And the reason he did it is because nobody can hit him. It's not about him Fast. knocking somebody out of this and that. He is the best at eluding, dodging, and this. And that. You can't touch him. You can't hit him. Duck, dodge, so, dive, dodge, dodge. Yeah. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. I hate him because of it. Like, I, I don't hate him like that, but I do. I, every time I root for him to lose because you want to see him finally get knocked out. So it's like, yeah. what if this kid finally does that it? That would be something to see, enough. though. Like some little punk, yeah. If he Mayweather ain't gonna let it happen, though. I I know anything can happen, but he ain't gonna gonna let it happen because he's gonna fight. What if he just connects with a nice right hook and it's just one one lucky punch? You just called him the Tom Brady of his sport. He ain't gonna let it happen to even Tom Brady lost to the Giants two years. This is Floyd Mayweather. It can't happen to him. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know if Floyd don't fail. Like like I said, I'm always gonna you put a bet on it for that. Like yeah, you I'm gonna make a bet for that. No, I don't do I don't do that to gambling. happen. But like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just so. But anyway, so YouTube boxing, Danny, the the way it became a phenomenon was actually uh, the guy. Yeah, let's go to the start. Let's go back to the start of this. So it was how did this guy, start? Where did YouTube? What, what YouTuber said? Okay, I want to fucking box this guy. So it Wait, was just recently okay, in make a spectacular. Uh, Oh, yeah, right. 2018. It was, okay. It was KSI. I can't remember his full name. I don't know. Uh, We're going to just stick with KSI. Oh, well, no. Sorry, KSI. Your name's too fucking difficult for us to pronounce. Can we just man. call him? He knows. That's why he made KSI. <laughs> Kissy. Uh, so it was KSI versus Joe Weller. And it was like a 40 second round where he, like, or so. Uh, I don't, not 40 second round. I'm sorry. That was a different fight. I'm um, reading something else. But it was a uh, whatever. First round knockout. Um, or second round knockout or whatever, and he he beat him. And that was, like, the biggest thing. 2018, that's where it, like, whatever. Not long after that, it was Jake Paul beating Anise Gibb. That was – Anise Gibb. Anise Wait, Gibb hold on. Paul there was, was a like, – there was a f- 
there was a fight with Jake Paul, or I'm sorry, Logan Paul first, and it came to a draw. Who did he fight? Well, he was fighting somebody. No, he lost because Logan Paul is 0-1. He only fought one fight, and he lost, and that was – uh. Didn't he have a draw with somebody? So how is that possible that he has an 0 one record? No, yeah, he has an 0-1. Um, yeah, it was KSI. KSI fought Logan Paul. And, right. or, no, you're right. Jake, I am right. I know Jake, I'm right. <laughs> Jake beat something <laughs> while KSI and Logan fought Paul fall fight ended in a draw. So, yeah, the rematch between Logan and it was KSI a rematch. took fight in, yes. in November then he and KSI lost. won. Okay, uh-huh. so that's why. So I didn't know that. So I guess there was a draw first, and then KSI beat him the second time. Um, but that wasn't even, like, where it, like, so Jake Paul, his brother, and Nice Gibb, that's where it took off. Like, at that fight skyrocketed yeah, that fight all started over the this whole thing, man. It was, it was all over everywhere. And it was, it was... Mm, I see like it's funny like they called it I wouldn't say they should have ended it right there I don't think he knocked him out and like it was like that was the win um I don't get me wrong he was definitely winning but I don't know I, I think that was called a little too early um yeah but then again of- I only think they called that fight because again these aren't professional fighters and when someone who's not a professional gets hit and, and looks any what you know dazed and hurt you're gonna call it because god forbid something goes wrong and these guys aren't professionals. I don't give a shit what you say and how many people they got following and how big they are on YouTube. You know, you can't, yeah. can't jeopardize that because then that's what jeopardizes the sport of boxing. And then people are going to look at boxing as like a fucking clown sport. See, but that's what I'm saying. I don't think it And it's like, oh, this is boxing. boxing. They're letting YouTubers do it. And then look at the big stage that they get for this. And but it's it, a joke. If, if changing the sport of boxing saves it in a way of like, yeah, it changes But it was it. not you needing saving. Followers. Well, how is it not any saving? Nobody watches boxing anymore. Boxing was one of the biggest sports. It was bloody. It was just that when UFC came around, like nobody really watches boxing like that anymore. There's still a lot of boxing fights. Right, because these boxers need to step their shit up, like like but how the boys did it back in the day. Nobody but fucking nobody boxes like that. No but if these YouTubers have millions of people that already want to watch this and they can box and they're willing to do it and whatever. I mean, where did boxing start? It started from like nobody's just fighting each other in bloodbaths in a ring, right? And then you know what I, so you know to me, that's where this is going now. Like it's just a new following, a younger generation to where the, it's making a lot of money again for the sport. So I think it's great for the sport. I'm with, I'm for it. I, I mean, I, don't I, would, really, I would go yeah, for I a fight. Know. I would, I would love to go. Danny, you want to fight live? I'll fight you. Let's go. Let's fight live. Everybody want to see it? <laughs> you know, Yo. it's funny. Me and Danny put the gloves on and went at it with each other. And I, I have the videos. To, I would love hey, to do that. That'd be you awesome. want to fight me? I'll fight you. Danny's not that hard, bro. Don't worry about it. You, you can I'm take not, Danny. I'm not worried about it. He's like seven inches shorter than me. <laughs> yeah, so he's the... Uh... Nah, but... Float like uh, a butterfly. Sting like a bee. <laughs> it's all right. I'm more like the Yo, Iron Mike anyway. I, I was actually gonna fight you last year. You because you were supposed to fight Jake and Jake never oh. showed. Jake, I'm calling you out, by the way. Yeah, and I then, know. And then you wanted to that day, but not I even had that. My gloves on, Frank. Ten years before that, you were drunk in the parking lot of Fridays, begging me to punch you in the jaw that night. Oh, that was 2009. Over and over and over. <laughs> just punch me. Just punch me in the face, bro. Yo, because Frank deep throats a fucking pine tree when he drinks gin, and he's like thinks he's hardcore i used to like tangeray very much so i'm more of a bombay kind of guy sapphire these days but uh <gasps> yeah i did I'm sorry like you tangeray. said uh, you said gin whatever mm. i'm sorry I, I don't like jameson and what you drink either Ugh. it's delicious <laughs> it's scrum chulescent <laughs> ever since i hit the age of 30 i can't even think of liquor like really? I'm just so over it. I get sick. As I've, as I've Recently, gotten older, I'd actually 100%. rather have liquor over a beer or like a few beers no or whatever. Way. I'd rather have like a glass of something than have, yeah. I'm not trying to get bombed right now, but this is a really good drink. I do enjoy it. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but getting back to it. Um, the biggest thing for me though is a lot of YouTube celebrities Wait, and blah, blah, blah. Frank, when are we fighting? Tell them what's going on. <laughs> like we should set something up about this. <laughs> it wasn't I mean, talk, we, but doesn't want to set a date. <laughs> if you really want to do it, let's do it. I mean, we could do it. We could set a date. I mean July. Do it on my TikTok. July. 3 p.m. This after school, you die. I'm July. gonna hold a fight. Let's do if we could do that. Joe could be the referee. We'll do it in August, end of the summer. 
That's end of the, it. End, end Everybody of pay attention. Watch out for that. There'll be flyers. Yeah. <laughs> you can subscribe It'll to be our a free event. List. We just want the followers and the listeners. <laughs> Um, no, I mean, but so, someone's gonna pay me to beat you up. I'm gonna take the money, Frank. I'm sorry. Who said you what? Get out of here, son. All right, so let's go. Anybody want to just because you wear tank tops every week? <laughs> Listen, it's not about the tank tops. Yo, ha- have you seen how? I'm sorry. I-, I know you guys are having fun over here with each other. But... <laughs> <laughs> have you seen how Logan and uh, Jay Paul train for boxing? You ever watched no. some of their videos that they posted about how they have... how they go about their training? They're I'm really into that shit, man. Let me tell you, they train like like an actual professional train, probably harder. Like Eye of the Tiger? I yeah, believe like that. Well, oh, Jake there Paul, it is. I know Jake Paul taking it very seriously, and I would hope Logan Paul is taking it seriously going up against literally the best fighter that's ever had the fight. In the I got to say, I think from the start, Logan Paul didn't take this as serious. No. but As, now- as he might be now, yeah. but – Jake Paul from the beginning was all about this. He's been training like for like a couple years. That's why I feel like, he, like he should have been announcing getting... that he wanted to do this. Yeah, and that's why I feel like he should have been getting the fight with Floyd because he's the one that's yeah, doing he's putting more fl- training. In Logan, the time. I think Logan kind of just asked for that fight before Jake Paul even mm-hmm. fought Ben Ashton. And no, I think it's and, more and just Mayweather that. actually just fucking took the bait and was like, I'm doing this. And right now, bro, Logan Paul's like, holy shit, like this is actually happening. Like, I'm gonna get into so the fucking line with that what you're right. That and he's like, right. I gotta take this a little fucking serious now. Well, that you're right. I think that that the second half is right. But see, I think that actually Floyd is the one that was doing the outsmarting and where like he was like, hmm. Between these two guys, the guy that's been taking it serious and training hard the whole time, or the guy that wasn't taking it that serious and might start to just take it the next seri- serious, the next couple of months to train against me. I'm going to go fight this guy because I got a better chance against him. And either way, they're still both the same big name and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, so to me, he was like, I'm going to choose smarter and pick the lesser of the two. And Listen, I'll be real because- with you. At this point, I feel like the last two guys that Floyd Mayweather fought. He wasn't really fighting. <laughs> he was just dancing around. It was a bullshit fight. There was no the last twenty fight. guys that Flo- Floyd fought. I'm just fought. specifically talking about the last two. Yeah, but I, I know. But I'm saying he, he, he doesn't fight like he's that great. anymore. He, in his he first fight, fight, fights, he, he did. He knocked people out and he did money. that. But that's what I'm saying. But that's in the beginning to get his name big. He knocked people out. He did what he had to do. A lot of fighters that do that, they can't make it 50 fights because when you're knocking people out like that and stuff, right. your hands start to go over time and stuff like that. Bro, so imagine instead, having a record of like 48 and 0. And like you don't want to fuck up. Instead, he used his mind early in his career. He said, okay, I got 10 knockouts, right? All right, I got 20 wins now. All right, um, I'm undefeated. I want to do this for a long time and be the biggest name ever, forever. And been, been, just knock out little I'm not going to do that if I keep knocking people out. So what am I going to do? I'm going to have a game plan that's going to let me do this forever. And he did. He became the best evader ever while still being able to hit. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't care. He didn't have to hit as hard. He don't win these games just because he run job. You know, he does fucking put shots on. And, dude, he's making – he makes the most money on any fight ever for anyone ever. Yeah. What is money? It's just exciting to fight. I mean, exactly. People it is exciting to fight. I'm like, when it comes to on the ring, making $100 people that million. million dollars. Exactly. You people that you know. watch it, Danny, are the you ones that want to see that fight. People that fight in the sport, that's their job. They want to make the most money possible, just like anybody else in any job that they're in. So for Listen, him, he's like, I'll, I'll get, get more the most money possible. For us, we're like, we want to see a bloodbath. <laughs> But I'll get more excited if you show me a YouTube video of Kimbo Slice kicking somebody's ass in Miami, Florida. That's where it started for me. That's what those, I watched, remember those the, videos, man? Those I don't get me wrong. School. I'll watch that, Kimbo but I'll watch every day. Floyd fight, too, just to hope that he loses. And that's Almost why he's so... Are oh, you not entertained? You know, <laughs> like, that's what you want. No, I want to be like, come on, finally fucking lose. Like, I feel like well, that's that's it would be honestly, it really would be more exciting to see Floyd Mayweather lose. Get knocked out by Jake Paul. Uh, that's the like, biggest he just hits it ain't gonna happen. The right not with Jake Paul. I Makes know. a connection, bro. Who knows? I That'd feel like I know. know. I know it's not gonna happen. I feel like you never know. But so yeah, the bro, point just of do behind all that playing one time with me. Just do it one time. The point of all of that. I don't know what you're talking about. I bet you. I bet you I can make you to gamble by the end of the show okay there you go oh, my man. Let's get it. <laughs> the point of all of that though was didn't shake on it bro <laughs> that i i people are getting pissed off though because floyd mayweather mike tyson this and that are taking part now in the help of this 
making the change and bigger and like blah blah blah. Did you see the Tyson Roy Jones fight, Danny? Yeah, that was pretty good. That was entertaining. Okay. But that's the thing. You're seeing them. These are legends. Anybody's going to want to watch that. It was really good. And I think and that exactly. they put body on each other. They well, did for the exactly. most part. But and they like were said, evading. I agree. But like, no, but not even that. It was an exhibition. They weren't expecting right. them to go like crazy. But like you said, everybody wants to see those two old timers that are goats in their sport duke it out, right? Everybody's yeah. going to want to see that. The reason everybody got pissed off is how are you going to let a YouTuber and an NBA player fight for the match before them? Entertaining fight, don't get me wrong, still entertaining. Neither one of them is professional. Neither one of them should have been. put it on a social status that way, but. So, well, that's why I'm saying this is the outrage that we're talking about, like in the topic or like whatever. So like, yeah, don't get me wrong. Oh, this is an outrage? (laughs) Oh, a lot of people, a lot of people are pissed off that people like Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather and stuff are promoting and helping these kids make something out of this and and actually let it be because after Floyd Mayweather fights Logan Paul, you think that there's not going to be a million other YouTuber fights out there that are going to be making yeah, millions sure of dollars now? Gonna be like He's going to make a hundred million either. thing or some shit like that. But yeah, so oh, I just it's it's crazy. It's it's a crazy, crazy, crazy topic. You know, they ever since all this shit's been going on, now they have a thing. They're setting up fights: YouTube versus TikTok boxing. So they're having all these YouTube stars. So this stars is just people who are famous fight on against social media TikTok fighting. stars. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, like influencers. Any type Danny, of go make it be YouTube. any platform. Twitch. Wait, is a time out. Is Twitch they gonna, if we're doing this for boxing, can we get some jello wrestling wait. going on with the ladies of Instagram? <laughs> no, wait. Pause on that. Although that. All right, let's though. come back to that. Just pause, though. Since we all know that I already claim TikTok. Danny, go make a YouTube profile. Me and you, YouTuber versus TikTok. August, <laughs> let's make it happen. Boom, Joe's in a referee. <laughs> you know what's funny though? Those two pairs of gloves that I had for me and Jake and like that, I just gave them to Mike because he started like actually boxing again and stuff, and he knew I had them, so he asked. Dude, woo! So you, you, so I don't even you have to throw the in the gloves. You I don't threw even, in the gloves. I don't even know. Even I mean, I can get them back. I just. Mike. <laughs> Y'all want none of this, bro? So anyway, to answer your question earlier, though, the Logan Paul Floyd Mayweather fight is happening June 6th at the Hard Rock in Miami or the Hard Rock Stadium. I'm sorry. Big stage, man. Yeah. Right, cool. So are we booking a flight or what's the big thing about that? Like, I mean, I'm I definitely gonna going to watch the fight. to watch that shit. I'll definitely it's... watch the fight, but they said it's going to be like $50. Pay 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 right on my couch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But still, that's what I'm saying. They're gonna get a fifty dollar pay per view flight out of this. Like that's crazy. I can't believe it. Per television, Bro, this is, this <laughs> boxing match is going up as if it was an act. It, it is. I mean, it is. It's it's a massive boxing event, bro. This is like a big deal. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna watch it. I'm excited. I I can't wait to see what happens personally. I would love to see Mayweather get knocked out somehow, some way, but it's not because I know, I know. You think? All right, so like, no, I don't think it's gonna happen either. But it would be something to see, man. Holy shit! I I want to see it happen. Shit myself. I'm kind of more excited, but I'm also I'm I'm gonna be excited when fucking Mayweather just lays this kid out. I don't think he's gonna lay him out. I don't. I think it'll be. I do. I think it'll be like every other. I think it'll be like every other uh, fight. With uh, Dude, with just, Mayweather, it, and he's just gonna dodge the whole time, hit him a couple times. Just Mayweather is what fifty and oh, I don't care how big of a star you are for a movie star, YouTube no star, way. and all the attention you have. The when you get in a ring, age. when you get in the ring, you know, on a platform like that, and you're in the ring with this guy, and he's you're dancing with him, it's gonna be, bro. He's he's gonna slip up and. Jake Paul's I mean, gonna get cracked. He's gonna I get mean, cracked. I get it because it's like saying like Tom Brady facing like Sam Darnold in a Super Bowl, which I know that'll never happen. But like, you know what I mean? It's like saying that like that because oh, well, now it could I guess because he's in Tampa Bay. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> but like True. I get it because like Tom's been there a million times before, so he's calm under that pressure in that stadium. Whereas right, like the new you're there know. and you're like, oh but, shit, this is. But you're talking about in the middle of the fight, once like that first round shakes off and like whatever, if he makes it out of the first round, I guess. Um, you're talking yeah. about like them in the middle of a fight. He's literally half his age. He's in the middle of his 20s, like the prime of his youth. He's probably a lot stronger and faster than him, dude. Like if he catches him, like, 
I don't no know. No, he's not. I don't you just know. Just make a fart noise with your mouth. <laughs> I was blowing out smoke and yeah, I was trying to laugh and I did. It the- was uh, blowing raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> blowing raspberries, blowing bubbles. Too, oh too. No way, dude. You don't Mayweather think so? is healthy. He's strong. That dude is fucking flying he's through 50. his camp. He's 50. I don't care how healthy or strong you are, you're still 50. That's at okay. Some, at some point, that's still at a factor. Bro, that's like that's like you saying, oh, Joe, you're not 20 no more. You're 30. You can't knock out that 20-year-old kid. I'm going to go over and <laughs> rock that fucking 20-year-old kid to the floor, bro. What do you mean? It doesn't I'm age not, don't matter. I'm not saying that that's not possible. You could be that, 60 and be able to throw trying. better than fucking a 20. Oh, no, I'm gonna, that, and because there's plenty of videos on the internet this. where there's like old people knocking out someone. I get it. I'm not saying that. Like I've seen video. I saw this video once where it was like this old guy who's like an Xboxer knocks this dude out, whatever. I'm not saying that's not possible. Sorry, bro. <laughs> but shut up. But I'm just saying, as a whole, like, dude, no way. Like, I don't care. Like, I get it. That's not forever. But like, 50 years old, like that. That comes to that comes to a, a degree at some point. That definitely comes to be a factor. Like, not for Floyd. Absolutely. I'm. You telling me there's no mornings where he wakes up and he's just like, oh. Fuck. Like, nah, that man will just fucking shower himself with a million dollars. I was like, I don't think so. Listen, bed. bro. And then he'll say, okay, morning, I feel better. No, I feel better already. I'm waking up pissed off. I'm telling you right I'm now. Sorry, if I money, woke up pissed off with his money, I'm just going to. Listen, I'm going to have a, a, money, a string. But... I'm going to go in a box. I'm going to pull the string and all of my $100 bills are going to fly down on me. And and I'm going to walk that, out and say, oh, I feel better. And that money's going to make all your sore muscles and old age and creepy weeks and just go away. Yep. If it's mm-hmm. warm enough, maybe use Epsom salt, Joe. Try that. That might help. Some I will do. Get some muscles. steam in that shower. <laughs> I'll take an Epsom salt bath, have Alyssa walk in with the black duffel bag of a million dollars, and she'll just dump it on me. Pour it on you. And I'll bathe in Epsom salt and hundred dollar bills. <laughs> so wait, did you guys? Uh, or I'm sorry. One of the things that I did want to mention on this too was so we talked about KSI, we talked about Jake and Lowe's and Paul. We didn't really talk about any what other. other what other of these clowns did you want to talk about? So, well, I was say there's like. 12 of them that I put up here, but like there's a lot of other ones. I think there was like 16 or 20 of them that were like a total. But uh Ryan Garcia is one of the ones that like his name popped on there. I I didn't know this. Cherry Garcia. I didn't know that Ryan Garcia was like a YouTube boxer per se. I always thought that he was an actual boxer. Like, cause I always seen him on TikTok and like doing different like challenges or like he'd be like in the boxing gym, like hitting people in the body, like with the pads on and stuff. Like they'd have like the you know, protective shit around their ribs and he'd be hitting them hard as hell and like uh, challenge them to like, if they could take the hit to the ribs, like from him or whatever. And I always thought that he was like a boxer that like, Oh, it's COVID. Like he's just trying to like make videos on TikTok now to stay relevant or like something like that. And then I found out he was a YouTube boxer and I was like, Oh shit. He looked like a professional boxer. Like kid is fast. hits hard. Like, I don't know. Like he's someone that I could see like actually ending up being a boxer. So I'm not against these kids like going through for it. Like, you know, like obviously like if we're talking about like me fighting Danny on social media, which is going to happen by the way, ladies and gentlemen, (laughs) I'm just saying, even if we're talking about that posted on a date, it's not like we're going to like, or it's not like I'm going to like train hard for that for months or like whatever. Why not bro? I'm going to kick your ass. If you don't train, I'm telling you right now, I advise you to train. These guys are like going through full training for these. I will train you. you. I will train you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Danny, we could do it tomorrow and I'll knock you out of my front yard, please. What time? What time? I'll make you eat the grass. 6 <laughs> 30? I'm usually up by 6 30. Get that protein. Let's go. Let's go. Mango protein fruit smoothie. <laughs> You're a fruit smoothie. Uh, I, I've been making a lot of fruit smoothies lately. It's like my new favorite thing. Tell us about it. <laughs> I did mango the other day. <laughs> Tell, tell us all about it. <laughs> well, hear about your fruit smoothie. What? Let's hear about your fruit smoothie. I I just said I had a mango one the other day. I made strawberry banana. I'm, I'll maybe I'll make blueberry tomorrow. I got this book on juicing. Really? And yeah, and I haven't opened it yet. Well, no, I've read it a little bit, but. <laughs> oh, right here. Boom. You guys hear? You 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 know what Triller is, right? I got it for me. No, it's what is nice, that, bro? I gotta start juicing. Because I gotta fight Frank in August. Oh, so I I was like, watch it. how you say that if you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> cocktails. I gotta start juicing. Well, I'm sorry, Joe. What were you about to say though? 
Triller, do you know what Triller is? No. What this is, Triller? is Triller. I mean, do I not know Thriller? Of course so I know It's thriller. like a video sharing social networking type friggin' service, app, whatever. And they hosted the... Platform? Yeah, basically. And they hosted the... Uh, the VMAs this year or the Oscars? Jake Paul and Ben Askren fight. Really? And I didn't know that. Yeah, and it's big. And, bro, like Snoop Dogg, I think, actually, is like one of the... Snoop like, Dogg bet $2 million on the no. fight. He bet on Jake Paul. Supposedly, supposedly. No, he did. So no, what happened supposedly. was is Dana White bet a $1 million on Ben Askren. No, Dana White he... doesn't bet. Don't I'm mess with you. my boy, bro. They I'm know why you, he don't look bet. He didn't make no bet. Look it up right now while we're talking about it. I'm telling you. I did look it up. I've been following it for a while, and he even made a statement on it. And Dana Way, he don't bet. He wouldn't make an illegal bet on something that he's promoting and running. Like, he set it up. You can't make a bet on it. I guess. I don't know. I saw this video that Snoop Dogg was on a live thing and saying that, like, Dana White, you put yeah, up a million, dollars me million dollars for, like, whatever. I'll as put up soon as million. Jake Paul knocked him out, he said on the microphone, because he was with the announcers, he was like, oh, yo, where's my two? Where's my money at, Dana? Where's yeah. my money at? That's what I'm saying. And then we knew that he won because of, like, whatever. So we know he really bet on it or whatever. But so Snoop actually bet $2 million on the fight and won on Jake Paul. Good for him. But dude, I don't like, know what the odds are on that word. <laughs> This uh, whole YouTube boxing thing, man, it's got a lot of big platforms picking it up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's money making. It's it's definitely possible for them to come up. I saw this dude. There's a dude that keeps popping up my TikTok the other day. I don't even want to mention him because I don't even want to like give him the clout or whatever. But it was like, I don't know, little Jimmy something or like whatever. He's like this 30 year old dude little from Jimmy like, it, it's he's like this 30 year old dude from like the South that has like long hair. And he says like, I'll show you how to punch. And he makes like TikTok videos. He hit like a couple hundred thousand followers or whatever. And like, he's talking about how he wants to fight like one of the Paul brothers or like whatever. But dude, every video I watch this guy in, like he's not punching. He's like, when he punches, like he extends his arm and then pushes the bag, like keeps pushing his arm forward. And like, he's like knocking the bag over every time, but he's not punching it. He's like pushing it. And like, it's funny. People keep calling him out on it. And then like, he's one of those people that like follows the clout of like the negative energy and like starts arguing with the people. Mm -hmm. blah, blah. So he's getting popular now. And it's just annoying to me. I hate that he's getting so popular and popping up on my stuff or whatever, but like him, I would love to call him out and fight him on YouTube. Call me out, Frank. Fight me. It's happening, Danny. Don't worry about it. Whatever you want, it's happening. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know. Is that pretty much it, I guess? Well, I, <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't wait both of you guys for explaining what this whole pan, uh, not pandemic, <laughs> whole phenomena of YouTube boxing is. It was very insightful. Thank you so much. Um, mm -hmm. You guys know your shit, I guess. I mean, uh, for everybody who doesn't know Thanks, Danny. Like me, Thanks. it was pretty cool. I had a good Danny time. Danny wanted to talk about street it. fights and bum fights. And back I'll talk about street fights. I'll show you street fights. <laughs> he was like, wait, uh, why don't we talk, call it Eye of the Tiger? Because I want to talk about the street fight videos from back in the when day. I was younger. Like, it's yeah, like, you remember Kim on Slice? On yeah, I remember had, that. Listen, it started with that, that, was shit, like, that, was, that was like a segue for this because social media wasn't that big then. And as social media got big and people got famous on it and whatever, DVDs, yeah. they turned to this. But like that was different. That was like backyard boxing and bum fights and like whatever. But don't get me wrong. I used to watch those, too. They were definitely entertaining. I had a great time watching those when I was a kid. I would like actually get them from the guys who sell the DVDs for five bucks on the corner back when we were kids. You remember that here? Joe, you remember that? No. All right. Well, I felt guilty because, well, never mind. I'm not going to get into it, but. There's the guy who sells the DVDs for five bucks, like the McDonald's or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lie. When I used to be going, when I used to go get my haircuts, there used to be a guy. They'd have like the plastic bag all the time. Like yeah. A DVDs yeah, like a huge them. bag they'd over his... shit, and they'd uh -huh. lay them out. And they would always, it was called bum fights. It was just, well, the DVDs and bums fighting for money, I guess, but it's cool, uh -huh. whatever. I mean, I've seen like ones that I don't promote like... violence, but it was fun to watch. Backyard ball <laughs> when I was 12 or 13. No, what is it? Backyard ball? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that one like. They used to have backyard wrestling too and stuff where like the dudes would like set up like tables and some tags. <laughs> Jump off the house, bro, and do like backdoor slots elbow. nine. I remember that one too. That was a good one. <laughs> oh man. You guys didn't have cable? <laughs> Black box. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, hell yeah, I had one of those. <laughs> okay, well, again, thanks for the uh 
follows, the likes, the listens, the shares. We appreciate it, everybody. And, yeah, uh, please share us around, everyone. Please tell everyone how funny we are and how much you enjoy listening to us. Because uh, honestly, I have to say, the charts are going up. Uh, things are going up. It's it's looking good for specialists and nothing. And we love it. We appreciate you guys. We thank you so much. Uh, also, be on the lookout for that fight when I beat the shit out of Frank in August. We'll we'll tell you more. Oh, about it. Look, we're gonna keep it. Look, but we'll, we're gonna we'll, keep everyone posted on that. We'll promote that one on Facebook. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for listening. Have a good night. From specialists of nothing. See us. See us.